Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Last time we spoke with the uh, Confederacy about the Ruby Tithe, and uh, our cogent friend gave them some money. They wanted to triple it, but then the Confederacy said that they're kind of betting on what we are going to do and decided to say our tithe is paid. So we're not going to talk to the guys yet because we are currently working on a few side quests because we always need more experience. Plus this one here unlocks a uh, unlocks another Aether Current which, if I remember correctly, I did not pick up the one that was over there. Which I'll do when I come back. I know we were heading over there in the last episode for the Aether Current. They got caught up in the story and the fact that I forgot because of my internet problems. But, we are here now. Think of, of the future rather than back at the past. So, alright. There's Ikiruga. So, hi. I need to talk to that guy. Ah, oh, yes. Just the other day, one of the soldiers deserted a uh, deserted base. I suspect he, I, I suspect he is the man uh, Yasui is after. Trade with foreign countries is strictly prohibited in our nation. The man, upon learning his so, his subordinate's disappearance, feared he would be caught and turn ta turn tail and ran. If what you told me is true, he is likely he likely went northwest of here to seek asylum with the red coat with the cojon of the red. I am tempted to go after the man myself. Alas, it would require me, uh, require me receiving the unnecessary authorization, which could take days. Please track him down and arrest him in my stead. If he resists, feel free to kill him. Okay. So that's why I kind of wanted to go back, so that way he is uh, on that island with the rest of my side quests. So... Swim on back. I'm a good swimmer. And, you know, I did come out here uh, when, uh, during the, the, the dawn. And I still haven't seen uh, the whole rubiness of this. I mean, this is pretty close, but that's a sunset, not a sunrise. But I was here early morning at time, and I still didn't see red water, so. Perhaps it's all, all uh, you know, speaking poetic. All right, but first I want to go up. We're going to go uh, up here again. And so that way we can check on the Aether Current and then head down the other side. So you see red, or uh, orange skies. It's not turning to red, water red, so. All right, where is my, uh, so southwest, this way. We'll talk to him later after the side quests are done. Because Sorbonne did say to, there it is. Sorbonne said to finish up before we uh, move on. Ow. Come on, fish. Interesting name. Oh, it has the face of the usual bomb, but it's a puffer fish. And had a bomb-like move this there. I see your deal. There you go. Here, Aether Current. Very good. Way to the north, which would be out of the area we are exploring. So we'll worry about that again later. So. Let's head down this way and take a look at the map. Let's head to the Devil's Cough first. Yeah, yeah. 
And what we'll do is we'll go clockwise around this island. There is some of it right there. Gotta get six of these, wow. We've got some. Is there any here on the outer? If I uh, circle around the outer edge, maybe I, I could see some of the glows. The glows. Alright. Let's see any over there. Let's check this trench here. And the magma. No. Okay. So. It'd be up here to our right. So you just gotta have a kind of a have a search pattern going. Oh, there's some right there, and wow, I almost hopped in a vent there. I was curious to see if it would would damage me and for how much. But let's not play with that because we are. We're here at a job. Gotta be professional. Alright, so, not over there. This place got crabs. Oh, uh, there is another one right there. Good, good, good. Man, I'm on a volcano. Oh, that's all of them on this area. Okay. Okay. Three in this section, three in the section to the west. I got it. Man, I'm on a volcanic island and I'm still wearing my jacket. I th I still think a uh, uh, a jacketless version would be, would be pretty awesome. And. Oh my god, it's too hot out to be wearing all this crap type of uh, get up. I'm gonna have to fight this crab, aren't I? Well, let's see. And got it. Got some up here. Got that. I was looking at the face. People were saying that there's a big fade, but I forgot that this place is huge. And really, if I want to do some of the, the rarer fates, I'm going to have to, you know, fly. All right, that should be the last of the magma. All right, so we got that done. Now let's zoom back in. We have flying sharks. And let's see. Yep, flying sharks and the trader. So let's go to the trader now. But as like I said before, we're going clockwise. E even though really, the flying sharks are all over this area, not just that one spot. So let's go punch a shark. I say as I punch the shark. Yeah, let's circle you around in case you have a cold. I'd rather you not hit Featherfoot. Here we go. That's one liver. Alright, there is a donor right there. I didn't see any uh, AOEs for this guy, but he really wanted to take out Featherfoot, though. Get a little bite out of him. Guess it tastes like chicken. There we go. I knew I wasn't going to have uh, have all my sacks of Grease Lightning for this fight, so figured I'd spend it on ending that other fight quickly. 
And right behind you. It's good to put a dot and get my first race light to get the same shot. I always like that uh, starter for bump. We'll do this and give it a swift uppercut. There we go. That is all the livers. Oh, we are in a fate. Hi. Let's go over here and I'm not gonna take that out by myself. Hit traitor. But I would have to be a fool to agree to go with you. I'm so close to Red Cogen settlement, so close to freedom. Alright, well, now you're getting punched. Take you out. I. Hey, where was your charge up? Did I miss it? There's your charge up. Jerk. My fist beats your sword. Okay, he's done. Uh, do we dare? Let's dare. But first, let's uh, at least power up a bit. Alright, well, let's uh. Let's Crap, 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 crap. All hitting all the wrong buttons. I need to work on this. I actually use Purify. Oh. I was trying to do something uh, a bit clever on that, but failed miserably that I ruined everything else. But the bright side is I can uh, get regained my stuff through print, so... Okay, Featherfoot, I need you to go pure heals on me. Might be able to take him down if I if we do this. Oh, we got some help. That'll be that'll be real good. Where's he going? So he's doing the quest, I guess. Eh, whatever. Me and Featherfoot got this. I should have used uh, my other combo. Oh well. Uh, other people actually going to participate? That'd be great. No? You're not? Okay. Luckily, I have my pocket healer, so... Featherfoot's got my back. So with my defensive stance going... Featherfoot healing me. Yeah, I think we got this. Look at that. You go, Featherfoot. Oh, it may take us a little bit, but we got this. Add a few extra attacks here and there. Luckily, he doesn't have any AoEs, he's just a single target enemy. Which makes it really nice. I can just keep throwing out my combos. 
get some TP back. See, I do know a method of uh, manually charging Chakra while fighting. It does slow down my damage. But if I need to, I can do it. It's really rare. But given the length of a fight like this, it could be helpful. Look at that, we're already at two uh, chakra again. I know I'm not having to move very much, but... I like it when I'm able to take out these uh, fate bosses by myself. Make me feel like a badass. Oh, got a... You know, it is nice when you get help, though. Because I think you get taken down faster. But I've already proven to everybody that, if necessary, I was going to take this guy down solo. Now, if I use Diversion, that will reduce my threat and hopefully bring it on to the, uh, the Paladin that just showed up. Oh, we have other people, too. We have a white mage, so he brought it himself a healer too. Yeah, diversion might help out uh, putting me back on uh, straight offense rather than needing the tank. But I have done a lot of damage, my threat is really high, he'd have to promote. But that's okay. Benefit's doing a good job keeping me alive. Just gotta keep at it. Yeah, I still have eight minutes to do it. It helps that I came in, like, near the, the beginning of the timer. Because doing a solo like this does take a little bit. But we definitely had it in time because I had people helping, so... Alright. And I got, an ex got extra experience for... Not only really did I get the experience for the Fate, but also the challenge log for completing uh, uh, Fates in different areas, so... Which really uh, comes into play when you're uh, leveling. Because you are going to the different zones and picking up different fates, and that's the challenge. It's like, I think it's uh, do three different fates in three different zones is one of them, or something like that. I forget how many it, it is, but it's going to different zones and doing fates, rather than just staying in one zone and doing fates. Alright, but it looks like I got this island almost completely mapped out. Of course, now I'm on the north side where there's no, like, real entryway. So you go around to the stairs. Well, that was a thing. You do some sort of quest. Alright. Oh, up the stairs. I missed. And this may get me to 63, and I have a class quest, so we'll see, because the, 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 the bar goes up much slower now that, you're, now that I'm at higher levels. Uh, you're back, and without a scratch or a bird on you. Impressive. Now let's see how much mega you managed to bring back. There you go. Ho ho, your pot is nearly full. Well done, friend. You collected almost as much as I did, and I'm a veteran. Uh, okay. Huh? You want to know what, I'm, what I'll be using it for? Ah, fair enough question. According to ancient legend, a, for a sword forged with molten lava is capable of slaying man and demon alike. As such, this is what we use to make our blades. We pirates like to like to hedge all our bets. Out at sea, you never know what you what you'll be running into. Thank you for your help. You've saved me a trip here and here and back to that hellish place. 
take this as a reward. Money and experience. I should uh, switch back to get my offense set up again. Have you brought me my livers? Here are your livers. Excellent, thank you, sir. Now I'll finally be able to make myself some liver oil. It will help help me keep my eyes sharp. Uh, they are my greatest asset, after all. With my hawk-like vision, I can see everything, including the sober faces of the spineless Bakufu soldiers at the ruby price. Ha ha ha. While I can no longer fight, for the next 20 years, I intend to earn my keep at the Confederacy as a lookout. Good for you. Level up. Alright, so we don't have any uh, new gear to use just yet. But, let's see, we need to go out there to the Ruby Prize. So what I'm going to do is we are going to go do the class quest because on the way back, I'll have to go buy the Ruby Prize to come back here. So, let's head to more donut now and do the next uh, book quest. Wow, that is very expensive. I am going to use a ticket. That's why I have them. Speed things along for you guys, and I don't have to pay those exorbitant prices of teleporting halfway across the world. So. Because in a real world sense, this is teleporting from uh, Japan to Egypt. About. That's a, a, a you would think that glo uh, global distance about. So. Alright, well, we are back in familiar territories. And uh, Warg uh, Warglet wants to head to uh, wants to bring, bring back the temple, so. Come on, let's get going already. Oh, have a bit of patience, but you're not a child anymore. Well, I guess I only need to talk to one of them. Are you, are you ready to depart, brother? Sure am. Good, the professor has already left. He makes for a village called Alagana. There he will he will take the measure of the land. I would strike out soon as well, but one matter troubles me still. The creed of the of the creed for a new fist of Ronger. With all due respect, Master, but th at this rate, we'll never get to Giribanya. Uh, you are right. Sometimes the answer cannot be forced. Mayhap it will come to me on the road. Very well. Let us away. En route, I would make a stop. The place called called Schism. Monks once trained there in... What, monks once, once trained there. In re revisiting the past, we may better walk the future. All right. So we got him on the road now. And... Oh, that's that temple we found in our exploration video of, of uh, the, the fringes. So, let's teleport to Ronger's Reach. That's cheap enough. I don't need to use a ticket. And then we'll get there from there. So, we'll just flip around. We're going ahead so we can get back quickly. So, yeah. I know what I'm doing! I, as I cry to the heavens and convince myself... All right, Aethernet, Fridges Gate. Teleport, 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 teleport. All right, I should put uh, Feather put Foot back on free stance. Might need him for later. But now we head over to the Schism. With that neat looking temple we found before. And it has the vista that I can't fly up to yet, because I can't fly yet. Speaking of, let's check our uh, Aether Currents, how we doing on stuff. Ruby C, we only have the one that we found. But we're going to have the quest one once we get back, so. So I'm not going to end until we get back to the Confederates. That's where we're going to end this video. We still have time. We're still good. All right. My chakra, my chakra uh, fairly hums at, for the surfeit of Aether. 
Tis plain to uh, tis plain this was but another ancient battlefield in Garibanya's bloody history. Hey, you feeling it? Because I'm feeling it. As a child, I came to this place. We faced fearsome fiends that we might open our chakra. In returning here, I had hoped we, there would be a spark, inspiration for a new creed, but it's not that not so simple. Huh. Uh, the fist once taught that through the pursuit of strength, one can approach the uh, sublimity of Ralgar. Sublimity? A teaching our forebears followed to their undoing. In pursuit of strength, they sought the power of rule, and by that power they were destroyed. Our creed must rise above that dark past, or it cannot light the way into a new future. Nay, we must find a new path. Well, there's nothing like a journey for finding paths. Let's keep moving, Master. Something will come to mind before you know it. Uh, so I pray, uh, uh, Zensa. Uh, so I pray. But yes, let's continue to, on to the peaks. East, uh, east to the village of Alagana. There, Professor Eric awaits. Okay. How much is that, that, uh cost anyway. It's shape teleporting. Oh, so not actually going in, they're just gonna look at it. Okay. We're getting a history lesson of the monks. Alright, we're here. All right, <clears throat> people live here? Uh, you'd be forgiven to thinking it's deserted. Well, because they're twins, they have the same dialogue. Alagana, when I returned, uh, when I returned here, I remember. The day the Temple of the Fists was raised. On that day, I was training, like all the days before. Then, without warning, we were attacked. We all fought, uh, we all of us fought bravely, even little ones like me, desperate to protect our temple, our home. But it was all in vain. One after an, uh, one after the other, we fell. All the while, the temple burned. Uh, some of us managed to flee, me with my closest my closest brother, uh, Adri. We stumbled into this village, smoke bellowing behind us. But when I looked around, Adri was not there. I never saw him again. Forgive me. Now is not the time for sor sorrowful reflection. Come, let us look for the professor. Go on then, join the bloody resistance. Add to the pile of corpses. That's the only difference you're gonna make. You're wrong. I'm gonna make a real difference. I'm gonna train hard and honor Ralgar, and he'll grant me power. That power couldn't save the temple, our home. What makes you think is gonna save us now? Don't be a fool. No matter how strong you become, you'll still be one man against the might of the Empire. Say what you will, but my mind's made up. I'm not going to I'm not letting the bastard Imperials take any more away from, uh, take any more from us. You just you just take care of your care of yourself, you hear? Souls crushed to to submission. The fire in their hearts extinguished. To rekindle hope within such people, that must be the purpose of the new fist. Praise be, I have it. Our new creed. To those who have had their homes stolen, their loved ones taken, not as more uh, desirous than strength. They're desirous than strength. The strength to protect what they hold hold dear. Well, well, I see you found your answer, and rather more quickly than I expected to someone who'd sooner strike rather than think with his head.
With the Order's purpose thus established, we may consider the question of place. Uh, I regret to say, however, that the old temple grounds are currently occupied by the Resistance, and there is not to indicate they will vacate any time soon. The grounds hold symbolic meaning, a fitting stage for reviving the Fisk, but ultimately the physical location matters not. For our mission lies the, in the spiritual realm, within people's hearts. There we will rekindle the faith and all may know the solace of worship. That, as I say, is the spirit. Now then, I shall report on, on how matters stand in the, in the region. But few fists from faithful remain, even accounting for those who practice in secret. Nor has there been any trace of the sect of Shadow, nor since their misguided leader's downfall. Save for those who came over the, uh, over the light, it's safe to assume that his ambitions died, ambitions died with him. We have a long road ahead, that much is plain. But we'll see our journey through one step at a time. And the, the first step begins here and now. Great, so, er, what exactly do we, what do we do exactly? We hold a demonstration. Give the people tangible proof, proof that the fist is returned. Ravenous, this first, imp first impressions last, and you are the, you are the first among us. Uh, as such, I would entrust this task to you. All right, I think I can punch something, don't I? You may leave it to me uh, to round up the villagers. I shall cry up a veritable storm for the coming spectacle. Uh, Zenza, uh, Ochaka, take the wooden dummy, set it up in the village outskirts, and Ravenous, limber up and tell me when you're ready. All right. Okay, got my uh, chakra all good, good and ready. Are you a part of this? Nope. All right. No mercy, Ravenous. Sweep the leg. Did so we calm down? Oh, please ignore her. Not many came. Fewer, far fewer than I'd hoped. But no less of a show we will give for them for it. Come, brother. Perform. Uh, your performance will mark the revival of the Fists of Ralgar. Lead in with Steel Peak, then follow with Dragon Kick, then finish with Forbidden Chakra. Peak, Kick, Chakra. Alright. Good. Oh. Kick. There we go. I was just going to do this one fluid motion because that's what I do. Hey, ain't that the Fist of Ralgar? But I thought the monks was gone. Good people of Alagana, I am Welgart, proud son of Alamigo, and brother of the Fist of Ralgar. Uh, all know the sad tale of our order. Years ago, the King of Ruin laid our temple to waste. Our faith was lost in the people. But without faith, it is the people who are lost. For, for to lose faith is to lose hope. We need hope now in, in, in this bleak age. More, more now than it, but, ah, more than ever before. So I come before you today, and I beseech you, join me in reviving the fists of Ralgar. Let's restore hope to the land. Can't fool us. You just want soldiers, fodder for the front lines. You're no different than the, from those accursed masks. So it was. So it was in the past. Uh, our order was seduced by powers. Swore allegiance to the royal family. We monks were little more than tools of war. But that was the fist of old. The new fist serves no king. It hungers not for glory. It thirsts not for blood. Nay, friends, it seeks only to protect that which we hold dear. Protect? Ragnar is the destroyer. As his disciple, there is but, but one thing we ought to destroy. Our own weakness. Therein lies strength to protect. Therein lies hope. I will not lie, I am not. I am no great warrior. My forebears would put me to shame, but I am not alone. Nay, I have stout comrades beside me, who are no less dedicated to the cause. My foremost pupil, Desenta and Ochaka. And Ravenous, whose sublime skills you have just witnessed. 
<laughs> Ravidus, please say a word to the people. I guess it's got to be good. <laughs> Are you ready for pain? No, let's let's be be the warrior of light here. Uh, Are you ready for pain? No. Join us. Let's begin a new. Does that is actually be more helpful? There we go. To uh, to bring you hope, we will give our all, every ounce of our being. This we solemnly swear. Yeah, I, I decided to go for the the helpful one. All right. So you have some new recruits. Good. That went great, I'd say. Everyone is hanging off every word. Master Wilkins spoke from the heart. The villagers couldn't help but be but be moved. I'm very proud of him. My thanks, Ravenous. Your performance paved the way for my words. All uh, all present lit their ears. No uh, no few open. No few opened their hearts. Already, villagers have come, seeking to learn the new fist. A fine first showing. Our forebears will doubtlessly be, be pleased. By restoring the fist, we honor their memory. I shall commence the village's training at once. Initiate them into the fundamentals of the faith. Uh, when that is over, we, we, will we may continue our mission. Till then, pray see honing your own skills. Ere long, they will be called upon again. So oh, good. Yeah, it seems like uh, uh, abilities are no longer locked behind class quests, so this is more for story and experience, which I actually prefer because this lets me gain the new abilities as I level and not uh, uh, have to come back to gain new abilities. We can come back here, continue the story, but it also, see, let's head back to Kugane so that way we can get, we can get back to the Ruby Price, but... Like I said, it's. I don't feel as if it, as necessary to go back to the class quest, except for you know we were doing side quests just now, so I felt it was a good time to do so. And also because of the fact that I needed to go to the Ruby Price and turn in that last side quest, so essentially it was on the way. That was my thought behind that because now. We are right back here. Ah, so it seems he, he forced your hand. Perhaps his death was for the best. I will send word of word of all that has happened to Yusui, though I am not sure he'll he'll be happy to hear it. Ah, oh, you're curious to know how I how I will inform him? That, my friend, is a secret. Got my Aether crate, and it uh, looks like we got a few more. We got side quests here now, but. We, this episode's ran long enough, and we'll continue these in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this, give a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you'd like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Later.